This video is brought to you by Straight Goods News, Canada's alternative online news source. Visit straightgoods.ca. Our union, the United Steelworkers, we represent in excess of 2,500 security screeners at airports across Canada, including the one here in Ottawa. Our members work hard and are proud of the work they do to serve the passengers, keep the public safe, and aid them in making their flights in a safe, secure, and in a timely manner. We are here today because of an artificial crisis being created in airports across Canada. The crisis that is building is due to a conscious effort and decision to reduce the on-ground resources and passenger pre-boarding safety. This is at a time when the public is calling for reduced wait times and sufficient safety measures. The crisis that is building squarely lies, lays on the foot of the minister responsible. Minister of Transportation, Infrastructure and Communities, Dennis LaBelle, needs to accept his ministerial responsibility and act now to ensure that passenger safety and also provide minimum delays. As you will hear in a moment from our two security screeners here from the Ottawa airport, the cuts that have been reported recently at other Canadian airports are now extending here and elsewhere throughout Canada. These cuts are not being made at the corporate level, Rather, they are directed at the men and women who are directly responsible for providing the pre-boarding security. We need to put these plans and ongoing cuts in context. They were cuts to security screeners last year when CATSA, the federal agency responsible for air safety and operation, imposed a needless countrywide reorganization of security services which resulted in major disruptions and upheaval. On top of the reorganization which created organizational disruption in security with the workforce, CATSA cut staff in screening hours by 15 to 20 percent last year. Now we are learning another round of security cuts at Canadian airports. Our union has been informed that major cuts are coming here to Ottawa Airport and we, are, and we should prepare for those cuts. Our members know the current complement of security screeners at almost all airports is barely adequate to manage the existing demands. Significant cuts to security screeners will surely have a direct and negative impact on the service on aviation security. While CATSA revenues go are going up and public safety and timeliness concerns remain, it is madness that they would be cutting frontline security staff. One of the facts that is well known, is not well known, and will only add to the public frustration, is that every passenger pays a fee for security screening. This fee is currently at $7.48 for a one-way domestic flight, and passengers pay up to $25.91 for an international flight. The passengers are paying for a professional, timely security, and our members are experienced and willing to provide professional, efficient service. Increase in passenger traffic means that the revenues are rising. Passengers' traffic has increased by 5.5% in the first nine months of 2011 at the Pearson International Airport, as an example. These increased revenues are going to improvements in service. Or they are not going to improvements in service or public safety. It's just the opposite. The revenues are increasing as the on-the-ground resources are being reduced. This is totally unacceptable. We call on CATSA to reverse these cuts and the Minister LaBelle to personally ensure that this situation is turned around. Stephen Harper and his around. minister are fanning out across the country talking about jobs. His agency, Canadian Air Transport Security Authority, are busy cutting them. Last week, we learned that uh, in Toronto, 300 people will be losing their jobs by the end of this month. That's more than half of what Stephen Harper has just announced in Quebec this morning. The security of Canadians um, travelers, air travelers, will be compromised with this latest round of cuts being announced in Ottawa. They either have less security or they face longer lineups. Now, airport security screeners we are professionals. They are security screeners. They are, they are frontline service people. Each year, they uh, checked 52 million people 
and 62 million pieces of baggage. And you would think that this frontline service is critically important for the security of people and that it should be increased because the air passenger uh, numbers have been increasing. In fact, since 2002, when CATSA was created, it went up, air travelers went up by 40%. We have a lot more people traveling now than, uh, than 2002. So CATSA income has been going up because more people, every time they travel, they, have, they pay a uh, fee. Increased their spending by 32% since 2007. That's 130 eight million dollars so with all this money you would think that there will be more airport security personnel well no there are more administrators their administrative um, costs have gone up but certainly their frontline services have gone down last year uh, it went down by 500 full-time staff and 300 part-time staff that tells me it's poor management. When you have more income, more top-heavy administration, less frontline service, that's poor management. I think Mr. Harper is out of touch with, uh, with Canadians. Canadians want more efficient services. They want faster and more security services when they get to an airport. Uh, reducing frontline staff while the revenue have gone up and more travelers means poor management practice. They'll be cutting a security fee? Oh, that would be nice. Uh, well, I can't seem to. It's not possible. Every time, every time we turn around, we see higher use of fees. Um, now, mind you, uh, they don't advertise it, so WestJet or Air Canada uh, don't tell you precisely how much you're really uh, paying because they still don't have to until maybe uh, even the end of the year. You know, if you look at the, the restructuring, as I said, we represent an excess of 2,500 security members. We're just in the process now of going to the bargaining table because these are now the new employers. We've had to go through a very significant situation with respect to getting workers recertified because the government of Canada, when uh, they did this restructuring, we didn't get granted the successor rights, so it wasn't just an automatic success. Uh, we had a situation where one of our one of the members at one of the airports had some 21 years of service, and because he didn't have successor rights, uh, he was let go without any severance. That just, uh, that's just uh, grossly uh, unfair. But that's what's transpired, and that's why we're now before the Labor Relations Board to get the certifications, but we're all moving very rapidly to get to the bargaining table to make sure that our members do have the security that uh, they've enjoyed prior. Frankly, I don't care what is the excuse. At the end of the day, there are fewer people on the front line, whether it's because the company wants to line their pocket um, because they want more profit or is it because CATSA is mismanaging it. At the end of the day, CATSA is allowing these companies that contract from them uh, cut to frontline services. It's a reduction of hours to serve the public. That means the public security will be compromised. As to what is the excuse, that's up to the minister to defend because it is the minister's responsibility ultimately uh, because he's the one that uh, appointed Angus Watt, uh, who's the CEO of CATSA.